I'm Tim Story and I'm here in Iowa City uh, to take part in the Witching Hour and to bring my project, the Mobius Strips here, which is a multi-channel audio installation that is based on the work of a good friend and dear musician and, and uh, legendary composer, Dieter Mobius. One of the ideas of this and, and presenting it in, in a sort of quasi-live situation was to to allow collaboration. Moby was a prolific collaborator. At least half of his albums are collaborations with other people. Um, his, his greatest work usually is considered his work in Cluster, a duo, uh, Harmonia, um, and, and many, many uh, collaborative albums. So we wanted to honor that idea of collaboration by inviting uh, people that were both uh, contemporaries of his worked with him Hans Joachim Rodelius, who was his partner in Cluster, Mikhail Rocher, who was his partner uh, in Harmonia, along with Rodelius, uh, and a whole younger generation of people, who, uh, of young musicians and composers who were deeply affected by that. Eve Moret, who's with us at the festival, uh, she, she told me that she got into this music because of, of uh, Moby's music. I mean, we have uh, Mark Mothersbaugh of Devo, uh, Jeff Barrow, who's known as half of the group Portishead, Jean-Benoit Dunkel, who's uh, a French artist in the band Air, which was incredibly popular. He's a huge fan of, of Cluster. Um, uh, Yuri Suzuki, Sarah Devachi, who's a very different kind of, very intimate composer, um, dealing with, with very small fluctuations in sound and harmonics, really a lovely piece that she did. Um, Yuri Suzuki, who's a, a, a world-renowned audio designer who's made many fascinating um, audio spaces uh, for public and community places, very playful. Um, I'm forgetting some. <laughs> oh, Few. Few, a Japanese artist that, um, that Moby worked with, a very experimental artist uh, who's still working today. She has a new album out within the fat past few months on mute. Um, I did one where I actually not only arranged Moby sounds, but also added my own additions to that. So uh, the spirit of collaboration was really an important part of this um, to allow other people to hear um, and, and be able to participate, but also to allow people to pay their respects through music to, to their, their fascination over the decades with Moby's music as, as it has affected us. It's a, just an eight-channel array of, of music, um, and people are allowed, encouraged to explore the sound space. They'll be able to hear the individual layers that me as a composer and Moby as a, as a sound designer and, and creator of music constructed, uh, and they'll be able to experience this um, in a performative way. They get to be, in a way, a, a, the performer. Um, the, the author of their own experience by the way they move around it. It's a very natural way to experience sound. It's coming from all directions, from eight directions at once. So it allows for this very immersive experience. So people can hear exactly how this music is put together. It, it, it sort of lays bare the compositional process in a way, but also allows people to have a physical space where they can enjoy it with other people, which is much more like a live performance than it is, uh, you know, a typical listening on earbuds or, you know, at, at, at home on speakers or whatever. No, no two people in this space will ever hear the, the same composition twice, even if they stayed in it a million years. And just the, the fact that other people in the space will also alternate, will also um, affect the sound if somebody's walking in front of one speaker. So it's this sort of live interaction of, of events that create a, a unique experience that listeners are, are allowed to create for themselves. So there's electronic generated sounds, synthesizer sounds, there's found sounds, there's the squeaky bathroom door of our house when he was there 10 years ago recording. And it sounds like an instrument um, when it's placed with tonal and rhythmic things. Uh, one reviewer of, of this, we just got a review of the audio recording of Mobius Strips and they were saying something about this great saxophone solo, which is actually the squeaky door of our bathroom. So Moby was a great explorer of sounds and it was so much fun to put this together and I think people will have fun listening to it.